Dear friends, this is my tutorial 36. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to change the temperature and the pressure in Gaussian 09 or 0 Gaussian 16 calculation. So this is the my calculation folder. I used the different temperature and the pressure. So this is the methane um, molecule I used. So this is the methane molecule under 298.15 Kelvin and 180 M. This is the second one CH4. This is 400 Kelvin 180 M. This is third one CH4 400 Kelvin 280 M. So I, I made three different kind of calculation and compared that energy and zero point energy and also entropies. Uh, and other uh, things also. So I will tell you how to do this calculation and how to compare the uh, energies and entropies and the zero point energies. So first we will see the CH4 at 298.15 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere. So this is the input file for that one. So if you do Gaussian calculation is default run 298.15 Kelvin and 1 atmospheric pressure. You no need to mention anything in that uh, section. So it's a default uh, setup, it will run. So this is the input file. So we have to put percentage CHK equal to CH4 dot. Uh, CH4 means the what are the molecules I used to optimize. I will put that name here on the dot CHK. Then second and um, third line you have to put memory and n pro shared. Then uh, fourth line you have to mention the uh, theory, which theory you going to use to optimize. Then you have to put this uh, general keyword. We I always use the, to put this here, and have to put that uh, up to under frequency keyword. That means first calculation will do the optimization, and frequency calculation will run followed by optimization. Then uh, this is the fifth line you have to give space, and the sixth you have to put that. Uh, name of the system then space then you put that total charge of the system methane is neutral molecule just I put zero then spin multiplicity then Cartesian coordinate just you can draw this CH4 molecule using Gauss view and save as a GGFE file and copy paste here that's all then you have to give space then you have to put what are the atom present in the molecule then put zero then you have to put your uh, 631 G star basis set then you have to put four star that means end up the basis set. Then you have to give some phase. Uh, you can save it. And now you can submit this calculation. You will get that energies and the zero point energy entropies at uh, 298.15 uh, Kelvin and one atmospheric pressure. So this is the one. So I, I will tell you how to make input file for a different temperature and pressure. So this is the one. So this calculation I did 400 Kelvin and one atmospheric pressure. So this is the one 400 Kelvin 280 M. So I will show you that uh, this 180 M 400 Kelvin. So this is that a uh, second calculation. So here you can see other things are everything same. Just we have to change here. You have to put that temperature and the pressure uh, parameters in the root section. That's all. It will run that things. So here you see I mentioned temperature 400.0. So pressure is uh, I mentioned 1.0. So if you did not put the pressure it default it will take 1. So just to understand to you I just mentioned that pressure equal to 1. So this is that things. So if you want to change into the pressure into two atmospheric pressure also you can uh, do it. So I, I, I also did one calculation with uh, 400 Kelvin with the uh, two atmospheric pressure. So this is the that input file. Here you can see I, I, I used the temperature 400 uh, Kelvin temperature and pressure to atmospheric pressure I mentioned. So I did with three kind uh, three different calculation and I compared that uh, total energies and the zero point energy and the entropies. So this is the very important uh, parameter to compare while doing different kind of uh, temperature and pressure. So this is actually the data file. I actually copy pasted. So I will show you the input file uh, in this uh, CHU4 298.15 Kelvin 1 atmospheric pressure. So this is the output file of uh, this one. So I will show you the energies and the entropy, uh, zero point energy and all. So this is the output file. Just you can uh, go down. So before starting your uh, mm, frequency calculation you will get see one paragraph the table paragraph like uh, numbers 
so we will see that one so you see so this is the one you will get uh, this before uh, starting frequency this is the starting of frequency calculation so here you can see we will get one paragraph like uh, text so here only we should get our total energy of methane molecule you can see here 40.517 this is the total energy you have to copy paste so i already prepared one document uh, for you so this is the one so i i pre prepared ch4 the 298.15 kelvin 1 atm 400 1 atm 400 kelvin and 2 atm so this is that uh, total energy the first one is the room temperature and the pressure this is the 40.517 6631 you can see this is the value i copy pasted then if you want to see zero point energy and the entropies you can also get it from this output file so for that we have to go to the frequency calculation section from thermochemistry you will get so after completion of this frequency tag you will see that thermochemistry from here you will get your uh, zero point energy and the thermal correction and the enthalpy and the gibbs free energy correction everything so last video i i told this is very clearly if you want to more about to understand these things you can visit my earlier video so here you can see zero point energy this is the zero point energy i copy pasted here just you can see this is the zero point energy 04 0 0.045214 then i copy pasted one more energy this is the entropy yes yes means entropy so we have to use this uh, value so you you, you 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 can see here this 44.476 the entropy of the methane at 298.15 kelvin and one atmosphere just i copy pasted here so this is the one 44.476 similarly i also copied for the ch4 400 and one atmosphere that e0 and zero point energy entropy i will show you that one also then only you will understand so this is the second one uh, methane molecule at 400 kelvin one atmosphere so if you go to that paragraph small b before starting that uh, frequency calculation you will see some paragraph so this is the the total energy just we can copy paste that is enough then we will see the thermochemistry of uh, this uh, 400 uh, kelvin and at one atmospheric pressure so if you go to the frequency section so you will see the thermochemistry so here you see temperature 400 kelvin pressure one atmosphere so we have requested to do the calculation in 400 kelvin that's why the thermochemistry printed here 400 so this is the things so if you if you mention that uh, two atmospheric pressure that output in the thermochemistry it will print two atm so like that will do so here you, you we can get our zero point energy this is the zero point energy of uh, this 400 uh, kelvin and one atm so this is the corresponding entropy of the uh, this 400 degree kelvin and one one atm so likewise we can also see that 400 two atm so this is the output file for that one so we can also see that uh, total energy of this system so this is the total energy of this system 45 516 this is the one so if you go to that frequency calculation you will see the frequency this, uh, these are the frequencies in thermochemistry you can see here uh, the temperature is 400 kelvin the pressure is two atmospheric pressure so then you have to take your uh, zero point energy here then you have to take your kelvin so this is the kelvin this is the unit of uh, this uh, kelvin calories per calories per mole and kelvin so this is the things so uh, now i will tell you one important things so we will go to the data file so this is the, our data file so this is the entropy this uh, entropy is calories per mole kelvin so i have this is the this unit i have converted into so joule uh, kelvin and mole minus one okay this is the converted one so why i converted here means to compare with that experimental one so for that i compare so uh, one, one more things i want to tell you if you see this uh, all data if you see this uh, e0 zero point energy you will you did you did not know, notice that uh, changes there is no change actually you have to you, you you will get default the same energy only if you do uh, uh, 500 or 1000 kelvin also you will get that energy is same 
zero point energy is same. So entropy only affect while changing the temperature or fresh air. So this is the matter you understand that. So other data it won't change. So then now we will compare with our uh, calculated entropy with uh, experimentally observed uh, entropies. So one more things I want to tell you here. So how to convert this entropy this unit to this unit this is also very important just you can learn it so just to go to this calculator so this is the one calculator calcula calculand.com something so i will give this link into the description just you can click it you can visit this website so here you can see calories per mole kelvin so this is the calories per mole kelvin so we have to choose here so that um, unit is calories per mole kelvin so we want to convert joule mole joule per uh, uh, mole per kelvin so this is the just we can copy one of the data i will tell you so this is the this one we can take this is the 400 to atm so then what we will do just to go to that website just we can paste it here so you, you see here you will see different kind of thing just to select which one you want so you can select joule mole kelvin this is enough just you can click convert so it will convert into joule mole kelvin so you can copy paste this value 191.3409 so i already copy pasted here 191.3409 this is the converter only likewise if you want you can convert using that uh, converter so now we will compare this entropy values with the experimentally reported value. So we will compare what we are getting. We are getting the same value or slightly different. So for that what you have to do? Just to visit to the Genoff table. Genoff nist.gov tables like that. So I will show you. So go to Google. Just you can uh, uh, type Genoff thermochemical tables. So like that you will get just you can click it it will direct to this page here you can uh, uh, click it will open the big periodic table here you can uh, type C from here you will get different kind of carbon um, molecules just you can uh, control F you can uh, type methane so I already um, type there so just you can search so you will see here this is the methane CH4 gas molecule to view this one just to click that view you will see the uh, entropy of this system so here you can see this is the temperature this is the s0 this is the entropy so so first we did that 298.15 kelvin and you will see the entropy here you see 186.251 so ours is uh, 298.151 one atmosphere pressure is 186.21 so uh, near to that one so this may be the if you use different kind of basis set you may get near to this value i think this is the nearest value only there is no problem like that only you get if you do calculation so then one more things so here also we see the second one 400 uh, uh, kelvin and 180 m so that also we can see here you can see that different temperature also is there you can also do different kind of temperature you can also check so this is the 400 so you can see this is the 400 temperature so this is the entropy in 400 degree uh, 400 kelvin so 197.35 so here you can see 197.11 so we also get a nearest value of this entropy so this is the things so if you want to use this data you can use to do the your uh, uh, gibbs free energy calculation so so this is that one the corrected value actually so so if you want to do any gibbs free energy or enthalpy calculations what you have to do just you take that uh, total energy of uh, this uh, methane with different pressure and temperature so if you want to do the calculation in 400 kelvin under 280 m just you take this energy what you have to do just you subtract with that uh, g corrected value so you, you can get this g corrected value from your uh, gaussian output file so i will show you that one file so this is the one so here you can see so you can find different kind of uh, 
values first one is zero point energy so this is the thermal correction to energy this is the enthalpy correction if you want to calculate enthalpy you have to correct with this value so if you want to do gibbs free energy correction you have to correct with this value so like that you, you will get every gaussian output file so you you can carefully look this and you do correction and do your gibbs free energy calculation so this is the 400 kelvin and two atmospheric pressure calculation so just uh, you can uh, correct uh, just i will show you one just you can take this value open your calculator paste it and you can um, put minus then you put this value this g correction value so subtract you will get 40 point something so this is the e0 plus g correction value so you have to use this uh, value to calculate that uh, gibbs free energy with this temperature and pressure so if you want to room temperature calculation default just you can use this value uh, subtract with that uh, this g correction value so you will get 40.48 So likewise, if you want to use 400 degree, one atmosphere pressure also, you can do, just you can take uh, this value, the total energy of the system, methane molecule, and uh, subtract with uh, this G correction value. So you will get this value. That's all. So like that earlier video, I made it for specially for Gibbs free energy calculation. If you want to know more, just visit that video. You will understand more easily compared to this one. So this calculation I took from that uh, Gaussian thermochemistry uh, PDF file. So I will show you that PDF file. So just to go to Google. So just you can type Gaussian thermochemistry. So you will see this first one. Just to click it. Here you can see the view PDF file for this paper. Just to click it and download it. So it will download. You can. I will show you that uh, the calculation uh, section. So just go down. So we, here also see they mentioned the thermochemistry something if you want to know more to understand this thing just you can visit and read it this page you will understand easily so then you can uh, uh, i will show you that calculation place so this is the enthalpy free energy calculation section you can read it and you you, you can also see my earlier video so how to calculate a gives free energy using this gaussian uh, calculation gaussian so that's all i will share this files everything to you so just you can uh, read it you can understand easily so thank you so much for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for future video update thank you Please, I kindly request you to everyone, if you watch my video, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That will help me to grow my channel and also I will do more videos for you. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy.